previously on the Journeyman Farming. If you've looked on the weather patterns recently for WA, there is a um, pretty big storm headed our way, a Category 2 cyclone. be enough. Well, one bar of 3G ain't gonna cut it. <sighs> I guess that means we're just gonna have to stick it out until the internet's back on tomorrow. <sighs> I guess that means we'll just have to try again tomorrow. I don't know when the internet will be back on, nor the power. I said on the radio that Hopefully, town will have power on by tomorrow, hopefully. And then onwards to us. And when the power comes back on for us, that's when the internet will too, eventually. I just hope 
hope it does. So today I'm in the Kubota. We headed out to our external block called Mains just across the road here. Go, go see where Dad is. Give him a hand. See the extent of the damage to the shed over there and also the windmill. So far by the looks just coming from the road here. Quarter mains hasn't changed much apart from a few downed trees. Our shed on the other hand could be a different story. We'll go take that, take a look at that in, in a bit. This is where we're keeping some of our sheep some, until such time where we need to shift it. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, far out. So this is where the conveyor belt for our small bales used to sit. The back wall is completely gone and where we used to keep the hardy sprayer, the roof has collapsed. Not all of it, but it's a, not a very good sight to see. Just up on the hill there, there are the sheep. Hopefully, I'll be mostly all right. Around here we do have the old sheep yards that that was on here when um, this place wasn't known by us. I'm gonna jump back in the Kubota now. We're gonna see the rest of the extent of the damage. Far out. Few down trees, nothing too major. Oh, that's not a very good sign. We're going to continue follow the tracks that the gate left behind. Hopefully we can find Dad. That gate's open. We left it like that. Sheep are up on that hill. This side of the block, the paddocks are all open so the sheep can roam around. Then, of course, you've got the old Midland Railway line coming down, coming up and around the hill here. And I'll give you a little fun fact. This very crossing was in a TV show once. That's right, it was. Although, since Rota hit, there have not been any trains whatsoever coming along here. Yeah. We're going to travel along here. Yeah, you can see just up there. Those of you who are probably living in the either over east, in the UK or the US or anywhere else in the world, this railway line is not standard gauge, it is 3.6. It's narrow gauge. Down tree there. It's um a lot, of lot of down trees here. This paddock has not been cropped for about three years. Last time it was cropped it was the oats in 2018. It was the very last one we harvested that year. So it's pretty much just a few down fences along here. Apart from that, most of the bush is alright. And uh, yeah. There isn't much we can do for the bush out in the field. Mostly what we can try and do is just fix up all the solar pumps, the windmills, the and the fences and 
What are the trees that may be lying dead center in the middle of the paddock will get those cleared? But if it's bushes of that tree just there, that just happen to lie down on the ground in the middle of the paddock, that's all fine. You can deal with that. sheep cell feeder it, but right now it's taking a feed in the creek later I'm gonna come back here with a chain tie that out now I just need to check up on the sheep of Nelmara but hopefully there are some ewes and lambs up there and they're okay by the looks of it most of them are just ewes you don't know if they have lambs with them I can't really get close enough to check because they'll run away that's just in their nature the poor things are spooked Just scaring my little 50 acres of um, possibly crop as of next year. Okay, so a quick update. We have teleported a few days into the future as of recording this. The SES people have come and we are going to fix the skylights in the shearing shed, which is going to be amazing. I've already cleared some um, corrugated iron up here with a little red tractor earlier and we're gonna go up and film them and don't worry I will ask permission right so status update time Yes, yes, came yesterday and put a tarp over the shearing shed roof. They would not tarp the cottage nor the homestead because there was simply not enough tarp. And we were told that because no one's living currently in the homestead or the cottage, they can't tarp it. So, that begs the question. Where are we gonna, where are we gonna stay? Because we can't stay in the shearing shed forever. And that gen set over there is starting to get pretty annoying. So, um, yeah, where are we going to stay? All of that will come in due course. But for now, before we get into the video, please like, hit the like button. Please tap that little red sub button right below the video that says subscribe. If it's red, you're not subscribed. And 96% of my viewers are not subscribed. So please, subscribe. Have you done it? Okay, good. On with the video. Hang on a minute, this ain't the fort. Hmm. How did I land myself in Dad's ute? Hmm. Well, I have to try something out. Oh! This is, this is much better, apart from that blooming coolant noise, but um, yeah, it's much better. Right, let's get into it. So, it's been a few days after I last got the GoPro out. This is due to the fact that the battery went flat. A couple of things have changed. First off, we have found a house. All my family's fine. Second thing is, well, clearly, 
you may be thinking, the Johnny Man, you've got the Kelly chain out. What's going on? Well, today Dad's in the tractor and I'm in the Red Ford here. And we are going to shift the Kelly chain out to one of our far fields on the home block, which we call the Nelly Paddock. This is because it's the paddock that lies between the home block and Nelly's. And well, the conditions are right. And we finally have settled in after shifting stuff all week from Cyclone Throja. So yeah, it's pretty much, it is what it is. And, um, well, over the next couple of days, I will be driving the Kelly chain, breaking up the soil, breaking up the topsoil so we can have a nice seed bed for when we come along with the air seeder. In other news, as of today, which is Friday, the 23rd of April, uh, the city has gone into lockdown again So that means the next couple of days I'll be going non-stop on the Kelly chain with that thing And also this GoPro and also my phone and my headphones So I'll be all set And also I would like to say If you have any feedback for the videos any feedback at all what I could improve on what I could change that type of thing Except the course for machinery in real life, that's gonna stay the same until it's subject to change. Then please do drop it in the comment section down below. I will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Now dad's gone over there, he's probably gonna take a shortcut and I will cut through here. So this paddock we're in here right now, this is our middle paddock for the home block. Last year I was here with that same setup, the 8760 and the Kelly chain. We had different discs on the back of the Kelly chain and those discs, the orange ones, which I will show you in a bit, those ones were on the front and we didn't have the blue, blue ones that are on the front now. I Kelly chained all this paddock up here. It was fallow for about three, three or four years, mostly due to the fact that this has been known as the unlucky paddock. So named because many of our vehicles in the past in here have, well, broke. Last year, of course, being the air seater axle, which I'm not very happy about, but still. Mmm, it's all come green. Now, there is one thing to note about these rural, um, trails on the farm tracks and stuff here there are a lot of tree branches and stuff down this is because cyclone throja when it came through here it was a category three not a category two not a category one not a tropical low certainly not a tropical low like the weather man predicted we all thought it was going to die down when it hit us but sadly that was not the case <laughs> that that would have been quite the case pun if we had a case tractor here um lots of trees down lots of bushes thankfully out of our 100 kilometers of fencing only 30 k's of it came down and there has been a lot more trees and all sorts coming down as well but thankfully thanks to everyone's support over the past couple days it's been good it's been it's, it's been so good and i can't thank you all enough
random tree. So this soil has all gone from that to that. I don't know why the screen just went green for a second, but you can tell that is brown. That's the stuff that's before that. I have no idea why the camera screen is going yellow. So that's just doing a test lap so we can determine whether Kelly Chain is doing a good job. And so far, so good. The um, new, brand new discs have done their job and have ripped up all the grass and stuff right here. So I'm gonna jump in the ute. We're probably gonna film that. And then once Dad finishes this lap, I will jump in the tractor and do it for myself. Let's go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, lunchbox there. Shut the door. It's GoPro mount time. Let's do this. All right.
was part of the video where I talk a little bit as I drive. This is kind of the thing that I like to do. Oh, there's a massive rock there. I like to watch what I'm doing and talk to a camera at the same time. I know it's um interesting. But now comes the part of the video where I thought that I'd share some info with all of you who may have a few bits of money to give. And that is to a very good friend of the channel and fellow Western Australia farmer, Aussie Farmer. Now his YouTube channel is mostly built up on the farming simulator and stuff like that. Likewise to mine. However, he wants to start real life videos on his farm, Ningen, which is over in the central wheat belt, somewhere south from me. And in order to do that, he needs to get a GoPro like I do here. And, well, if you like farming simulator, and you just happen to have bought FS19 and no DLC, so you want to get on the FS train before FS22 comes out in Q4 of this year, go give his channel a look. He has become a giant's partner, the developers of Farming Simulator. Whereas you use his links to buy the DLC, it helps him raise the funds in order to buy a camera so he can do real life videos just like I am doing. If you go, go do that, it helps him out. He's a great friend of mine. Go check him out. He's also the brains and co-developer of the map of this place, which we're in right now, in real life, which we call, which we are dubbing, Electric Hang on a minute. branch right there. Need to go sort this out. Now we're just going to wait for all this dust to pass. investigate this thing that has blocked up the Kelly chain. So here I was up in the tractor cab minding my own business and then all of a sudden a bush decided that it was going to grace us with its presence. So naturally me thinking that the Kelly chain could go over it, yeah I was wrong. Now we're going to need to pull the bugger out otherwise 
If we go over more bush, it's gonna make a serious mess. It's bushes like these. That is the reason why we need a Kelly chain. All right, game plan. We are going to reverse to get that bush out. So, let's try this out. All right, that should have done it. Just as I suspected. Now we need to remove this imposter from the Kelly chain. Pronto. Time to use the drone and the GoPro holder. Imposter removed. Let's try this again. Shut the door. Oh, probably need some drinking out of it. Um, right, clutch in. C range. Now let's put the GoPro back onto its mount. Alright, the GoPro is mounted. Third gear.
So, in the time lapse there, you saw basically me going around the headland on this piece, going back and finishing that little corner. We're coming up to the bit where there's a lot of bush that I decided to cut across. I'm not going to risk going through that area because there's a lot of bush that could plug up the Kelly chain if we are not careful. It's starting to get dark now, it's around 5 o'clock-ish. It's 5 past 5, I'm just in the city to the news. Yeah, I'm going to keep cracking until it gets back oh, 6 o'clock-ish. Then we'll knock off, get back to the uh, place we're staying and then tomorrow get back on here and hopefully we will finish this piece by then. Back to the time lapse.
hospital. Open the door, and now we will do There we have it. Day one of Kelly training done. And there's still some dust way over there. Oh, and thus we made the Kelly chain very dirty, but it has done. A very good job, nonetheless. There's the moon up there. And I'm just going around the back. Checking for any bent discs at all. No, we're all good, all right. See you all tomorrow.